Season's greetings from the Government Information Service. The following is a New Year's message from the Chairman of the Constitution Reform Committee, Dr. Francis Alexis. My dear fellow Grenadians, Karyakuans, and Pity Martinicans, let us thank God for allowing us to see the new year 2016. Have a blessed, bright, happy, and prosperous new year 2016. May God grant you abundant life throughout 2016. Since 1985, Grenada has been having public consultations on constitution reform and recommendations made. In 1985, by the Sir Fred Phillips Commission, in 2006, by the Mr. Justice Lyle St. Paul Commission, in 2013, by Professor Randolph McIntosh, and in 2014 by the present committee comprising 14 members nominated by different bodies. On that background, Cabinet settled some 70 proposals in the six Constitution reform bills given first reading in Parliament on the 4th of December 2015, putting us on the road to referendum. The Caribbean Court of Justice and Other Justice-Related Matters Bill would, among other things, require that allegiance be sworn not to Her Majesty but to Grenada, stipulate that the Attorney General be a lawyer, modernize the name of our Supreme Court as the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, substitute for the Privy Council the Caribbean Court of Justice as our final appellate court, and institute a code of conduct for many high officials. The Elections and Boundaries Commission bill would introduce an independent Elections and Boundaries Commission to supervise the conduct of elections and the registration of voters. The name of the state bill would officially name our state Grenada, Karyaku and Pity Martinique. The restructuring bill would provide for the renumbering and rearranging of the Constitution to tidy it up to reflect its reform. The Rights and Freedoms Bill has some 45 proposals to strengthen rights and freedoms of the individual. It would substantially extend civil rights. Thus, it would give arrested persons the right to counsel promptly, the right to be told of the reason for their arrest promptly. Due process of law would be expressly enshrined. Children with disabilities would be assured special education. Intellectual property rights would be guaranteed. Freedom of the press and other media would be expressly ordained. The right of association in political parties would be specifically protected. Directive principles would place restraints upon government by, for example, requiring that there be fiscal responsibility. There would be, sisters and brothers, a chapter devoted to guaranteeing gender equality, equality between men and women, making Grenada unique in the Caribbean. Enacting provisions would explicitly exalt the separation of powers, the independence of the judiciary, and the rule of law as fundamental essentials of freedom, unlike anywhere else in the Caribbean today. The term limits on Prime Minister, fixed date for elections, and ensuring opposition leader bill would impose a three-term limit on a person being Prime Minister, cater for fixed date elections being provided for, and ensure that there is always an opposition leader by putting in place an element of proportional representation. Sisters and brothers, in order for these bills to reform the Constitution, 
They need the approval of not less than two-thirds of all the votes validly cast by you, the people, on the referendum. A referendum being an election in which you vote on the question, do you approve of any particular bill? I pray that God guide and direct you in answering each question, even as I pray that God richly bless you in 2016. The preceding was a New Year's message from the Chairman of the Constitution Reform Committee, Dr. Francis Alexis.